a lot of what we do is or hear about and talk about amongst ourselves is really inside baseball. But one thing I think that um, our people in our districts and across the state recognize is the ethical, the bad ethical behavior. Uh, and at such a time right now when ethics is in the forefront, here we are going through this map process. And I have to ask, you know, what are they hiding and why are they hiding it? And it makes uh, one, me very uh, untrusting of the process. Uh, but two, it, it does not give any of our voters any um, uh, confidence in us as, as elected officials. Politicians picking their voters are more likely to consider political wins instead of putting their actual communities first. One thing that we learn right away here is that our, our word is our bond. And once again, as predicted, politicians are flip-flopping on their lies to support independent maps uh, that, are hope, that are hoping that the voters of Illinois won't notice. So we're here today to give notice and, and we're thankful that you're here to help us with that. Um, knowledge is power. Ryan spoke a lot about um, the American Community Survey, the ASC. So I won't go into a lot of detail on that except for, and he, and he mentioned it, here we spend close to $30 million on getting a good count. And our communities were really hustling um, to make sure that everybody was counted. And we spend $0 um, on, the, on the AC, uh, ACS. So it makes you, you know, think twice about whether or not it's the best source for us to be using. And I believe uh, we've never used that as a source to determine our lines before. And one thing to be clear, uh, this has, uh, the ACS has uh, its proven history of undercounting populations in cities and villages that have 60,000 people. And guess what? In my district, I have no communities um, that have over 60,000 people. So that makes me very hesitant to, to trust that information. And we cannot allow rural communities, downstate communities, meaning um, those in Illinois outside of Cook County um, and the suburbs to be significantly undercounted to accommodate a legislative majorities, avoiding fairness and transparency. I, as well as the others here and many others in, in, in the state and the counties, we invest our time and our treasure into uh, crafting and um, promoting good public policy because we know that our neighbors cannot, uh, cannot afford the expense of bad policy. So we're here today sounding the alarm um, on the shady, truly shady public policy of allowing politicians to use inaccurate data behind closed doors, behind closed locked doors to pick their voters at the expense of the, of the communities that we serve, especially mine here in rural Illinois.